This time in Goss's Garage, we're going to talk more about spark plugs. Some of the things that you should look for when you remove the plugs from your engine. Are they good or are they bad? Well, here we have a new spark plug. This is an older design and it has a substantial outer electrode, which even the new ones will have that. It also has a substantial center electrode down there in the middle. New spark plugs, the new generation of uh, iridiums and platinums and double platinums and stuff like that. That center electrode will just be a tiny point. All right, but some of the things that we should look for, of course, we've already talked about uh, the contamination issues and so on, but maybe we have a spark plug like this one. Now, this one has seen about all the duty it will ever see because, as you can see, the uh, outer electrode is completely burned away. It has melted. And that happens because the gap burns away as the plug is used. It gets too big and then we start getting uh, changes in firing and temperatures and different things like that. And it often will melt the outer electrode like this one did. So automatically this engine needs new spark plugs. So no question there. Now. Uh, other things that we look for, we look at the outer electrode to see if it is worn, has a groove up in it where the spark has eroded the metal over time. We look to see if the center electrode is burned away because, again, over time, even with the exotic spark plugs, the center electrode does gradually burn away. But mostly it's the outer electrodes. Uh, here we can see one that uh, has a relatively rounded center electrode. This is a conventional plug and that center electrode should be nice and flat uh, as opposed to rounded. The more rounded it becomes, the less efficient the spark. And what do we have here? Well, here we have a plug where the center electrode is almost non-existent. It has burned away and in some cases we'll find that it will recede right down into the ceramic insulator around it. So those are all things that you look for. And remember that a spark plug is best when it's brand new and that the sharper the edges on the outer electrode and things like that, electricity likes to flow to sharp uh, angular edges of metal. And that's one of the reasons why the outer electrode is chopped off and there are sharp edges and things like that. So you look at all of those characteristics. You also look to see if the center electrode is cracked. If it's cracked or broken, automatically we need new plugs. If the outer ceramic portion right here, if it's cracked, or there's any kind of damage to it, or if there's anything that looks like somebody took a pencil and drew a uh, gray line down the outside of the plug, that is usually from arcing, and it means that the high voltage spark has gone down the outside of the plug, and it has cut a carbon track into the insulator, and you probably will get a misfire under acceleration as a result of that. So that is something you have to look really careful at. You wipe it off, see if there's any kind of a carbon track on there. If there is, you need new plugs and you may need other components. Another thing, here is a tool that for years was used to gap spark plugs. Old style plug, you put the plug in here and you just slid it around like that and you could actually gap the plug by pushing uh, the plug around it because this ledge on here gets thicker as it goes around and you just stop at the number that matches the specification for the car. Do not, and I repeat, do not under any circumstance do that with a modern plug because that little teeny center electrode well, what you'll do when you push the plug around with this thing is that you will bend 
that center electrode and now your brand new high dollar plug is no good no more so uh, there you have it there's a couple more things about spark plugs and if you have a question a comment or just want a lot of good information how about checking us out at goss-garage.com <music>